Methemoglobinemia, Wikipedia article audio. Methemoglobinemia is a condition caused by elevated levels of methemoglobin in the blood. Methemoglobin is a form of hemoglobin that contains the ferric form of iron. The affinity for oxygen of ferric iron is impaired. The binding of oxygen to methemoglobin results in an increased affinity for oxygen in the remaining heme sites that are in ferrous state within the same tetrameric hemoglobin unit. This leads to an overall reduced ability of the red blood cell to release oxygen to tissues, with the associated oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve therefore shifted to the left. When methemoglobin concentration is elevated in red blood cells, tissue hypoxia may occur. Signs and Symptoms Pathophysiology Diagnosis Classification Acquired Congenital Treatment Society and Culture The Blue Fugates The Blue Men of Lagan Signs and symptoms of methemoglobinemia include shortness of breath, cyanosis, mental status changes, headache, fatigue, exercise intolerance, dizziness, and loss of hairlines. Patients with severe methemoglobinemia may exhibit seizures, coma, and death. Healthy people may not have many symptoms with methemoglobin levels below 15%. However, Patients with comorbidities such as anemia, cardiovascular disease, lung disease, sepsis, or presence of other abnormal hemoglobin species may experience moderate to severe symptoms at much lower levels. Normally, methemoglobin levels are 1%, as measured by the CO oximetry test. Elevated levels of methemoglobin in the blood are caused when the mechanisms that defend against oxidative stress within the red blood cell are overwhelmed and the oxygen-carrying ferrous ion of the heme group of the hemoglobin molecule is oxidized to the ferric state. This converts hemoglobin to methemoglobin, resulting in a reduced ability to release oxygen to tissues and thereby hypoxia. This can give the blood a bluish or chocolate-brown color. Spontaneously formed methemoglobin is normally reduced by protective enzyme systems, e.g., NADH methemoglobin reductase, NADF methemoglobin reductase and to a lesser extent the ascorbic acid and glutathione enzyme systems. Disruptions with these enzyme systems lead to methemoglobinemia. Hypoxia occurs due to the decreased oxygen binding capacity of methemoglobin, as well as the increased oxygen binding affinity of other subunits in the same hemoglobin molecule, which prevents them from releasing oxygen at normal tissue oxygen levels. Arterial blood with elevated methemoglobin levels has a characteristic chocolate brown color as compared to normal bright red oxygen containing arterial blood. If methemoglobinemia is suspected, an arterial blood gas and CO oximetry panel should be obtained. Methemoglobinemia may be acquired. Classical drug causes of methemoglobinemia include antibiotics, local anesthetics, and aniline dyes, metoclopramide, rasburacase, chlorates, and bromates. Ingestion of compounds containing nitrates can also cause methemoglobinemia. In otherwise healthy individuals, the protective enzyme systems normally present in red blood cells rapidly reduce the methemoglobin back to hemoglobin and hence maintain methemoglobin levels at less than 1% of the total hemoglobin concentration. Exposure to exogenous oxidizing drugs and their metabolites may lead to an increase of up to a thousandfold of the methemoglobin formation rate, overwhelming the protective enzyme systems and acutely increasing methemoglobin levels. 
Infants under 6 months of age have lower levels of a key methemoglobin reduction enzyme in their red blood cells. This results in a major risk of methemoglobinemia caused by nitrates ingested in drinking water, dehydration, sepsis, or topical anesthetics containing benzocaine or prilocaine. Nitrates used in agricultural fertilizers may leak into the ground and may contaminate well water. The current EPA standard of 10 ppm nitrate nitrogen for drinking water is specifically set to protect infants. Benzocaine applied to the gums or throat can cause methemoglobinemia. Due to a deficiency of the enzyme diaphorase I, methemoglobin levels rise and the blood of methB patients has reduced oxygen carrying capacity. Instead of being red in color, the arterial blood of methB patients is brown. This results in the skin of Caucasian patients gaining a bluish hue. Hereditary METHB is caused by a recessive gene. If only one parent has this gene, offspring will have normal hued skin, but if both parents carry the gene, there is a chance the offspring will have blue hued skin. Another cause of congenital methemoglobinemia is seen in patients with abnormal hemoglobin variants such as hemoglobin M, or hemoglobin H which are not amenable to reduction despite intact enzyme systems. Methemoglobinemia can also arise in patients with pyruvate kinase deficiency due to impaired production of NADH the essential cofactor for diaphorase I. Similarly, patients with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency may have impaired production of another CO factor, NADF. Methemoglobinemia can be treated with supplemental oxygen and methylene blue 1% solution 1 to 2 mg slash kg administered intravenously slowly over 5 minutes. Although the response is usually rapid, the dose may be repeated in 1 hour if the level of methemoglobin is still high 1 hour after the initial infusion. Methylene blue inhibits monoamine oxidase and serotonin toxicity can occur if taken with an SSRI medicine. Methylene blue restores the iron in hemoglobin to its normal oxygen-carrying state. This is achieved by providing an artificial electron acceptor for NADF methemoglobin reductase. The NADF is generated via the hexose monophosphate shunt. Genetically induced chronic low-level methemoglobinemia may be treated with oral methylene blue daily. Also, vitamin C can occasionally reduce cyanosis associated with chronic methemoglobinemia but has no role in treatment of acute acquired methemoglobinemia. Diaphorase normally contributes only a small percentage of the red blood cells reducing capacity but can be pharmacologically activated by exogenous cofactors to five times its normal level of activity. The Fugates, a family that lived in the hills of Kentucky, are the most famous example of this hereditary genetic condition. They are known as the Blue Fugates. Martin Fugate settled near Hazard, Kentucky, around 1800. His wife was a carrier of the recessive methemoglobinemia gene, as was a nearby clan with whom the Fugates intermarried. As a result, many descendants of the Fugates were born with Met H. The Blue Men of Lagan were a pair of Lagan men suffering from what was described as familial idiopathic methemoglobinemia who were treated by Dr. James Deeney in 1942. Deeney who would later become the chief medical officer of the Republic of Ireland, prescribed a course of ascorbic acid and sodium bicarbonate. In case 1, by the eighth day of treatments there was a marked change in appearance, and by the twelfth day of treatment the patient's complexion was normal. In case 2, the patient's complexion reached normality over a month-long duration of treatment.